In today's video, Sean O'Malley talks about being a 4 to 1 underdog against Piotr Jan. Tyron Woodley says Habib is not a top 10 fighter of all time. Footage Paul Costa, the sparring pro boxer. Bisping compares Adesanya vs. Pereira and Makachev vs. Oliveira. Henry Cejudo clarifies his comment about Dustin Poirier, and Alex Pereira posts intense sparring footage. Sean O'Malley doesn't agree with the betting odds for his upcoming fight against Piotr Jan. According to odds makers, O'Malley is a 4-1 underdog heading into his bout with former bantamweight champion Jan at UFC 280 on October 22nd. Here's what Sugar had to say about these betting odds during a recent interview on the DC and RC MMA show. I, I mean, to the to the casual, to the dummy, it, like the odds seem seem about right. But to to an expert, to a high level fighter, someone with a high level IQ, you know, I think the the odds would be a lot closer. I've heard a lot of the you know, pros talk about it. They're they're not necessarily counting me out. A lot of people do think I'm only going to lose this fight, but uh. I mean, just to obviously, I'm I'm gonna I expect to go out there and win. So, you know, I'm a, I'm the favorite in my mind. But it is it is it's fun. I, I don't think I've ever been the underdog. It, it is different. It's fun. Fun. It, there's a little bit of extra fire uh, under under me. So it, it is nice. And and honestly, it's I wouldn't say I prefer being the underdog because at the end of the day, I don't really care. But it is different, and it's uh you know, it's a little boost. Tyron Woodley doesn't think Habib Nurmagomedov is one of the top 10 best fighters of all time. This claim from the former welterweight champ is interesting as many do view Habib as the lightweight GOAT, but Woodley isn't sold. He believes the Eagle had a lot of favorable matchups. Speaking on Jake Paul's BS show, T. Wood said, Habib on my top 10 list? Probably not. I f*** with Habib, I like him, I respect him a lot, I think he's a good fighter. But I think his type of fight for that weight class, lightweight, nobody could do that besides Sean Shirk back in the day. But like, he was just really aggressive, but I didn't see the wrestler with good hands fight him, so I couldn't really jump on that train. When asked who some of the best fighters are, Woodley said, John Jones, best fighter we've seen whether he's fought consistently or whatever the case. Anderson Silva I would say is the GOAT because he did it in a really respectful way. He beat people without talking the sh that everybody else did. Demetrius Johnson is the most well-rounded fighter we've ever saw. GSP, I f with George St. Pierre because he was very respectful all the time. What do you guys make of Woodley saying Habib is not a top 10 fighter of all time? Let us know in the comments below. Paulo Costa has posted new sparring footage where he goes against Italian pro boxer Giovanni Scuderi. Scuderi has a record of 8 wins and 0 losses with four of these victories being by way of knockout. Here's some footage. You can watch the full sparring session on Costa's YouTube channel. The link can be found in the video description below. Costa also met UFC lightweight Bobby Green. Took my glasses. Hey guys! <laughs> hey talk, guys. Talk like nerd. Who gonna put your guy in classes? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey guys! Walk around like this. I look like a little nerd. I never get beat on. I never get picked on. <laughs> yeah. There's plenty of elite UFC action coming up over the next weeks and months as the best MMA stars in the world get ready to do battle. 
Speaking on the most recent episode of the Believe You Me podcast, Michael Bisping weighed in on two huge upcoming fights between Israel Adesanya and Alex Pereira and Islam Makhachev versus Charles Oliveira. Bisping also compared the two matchups and discussed which one is more exciting. Here's the clip. You know, I'm, I'm wildly excited for both fights. It's not like, oh, that one's going to suck. No, yeah. Herrera, Adesanya, I can't wait for it because everything you just said. Will he be the man to dethrone Izzy? Can he knock him out? He's going to be aggressive. He's going to go forward. He's going to bring the best out of Izzy. I think it's going to be an absolutely sensational fight. But in terms of a mixed martial arts contest, which obviously the UFC is, Oliver versus Islam Makachev, there's a lot of questions. It's, will the fight play out on the feet? Will Charles Oliveira be able to knock him out on the feet? Will he get dropped? Can, will he get taken down from Islam? Will he allow the takedown? When they hit the floor, are we going to see the two best grapplers in the lightweight division? Can Islam stop the uh, submission attempts? You know, can Oliveira add to another? It'll be 17th submission in the UFC in enemy territory. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're both phenomenal fights. But if I had to pick one, if I had to pick one, that's the one that really gets my juices flowing. Henry Cejudo recently said on his YouTube channel that he doesn't think Dustin Poirier belongs in the UFC's pound for pound standings. In his past 11 fights, Poirier's only two losses have come in title fights against Oliveira and Khabib Nurmagomedov, but despite his impressive record, Cejudo thinks Poirier getting finished in those fights doesn't warrant him a spot in the pound for pound rankings. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, 280 man, without a doubt. I, I don't care about any of those guys. First of all, Chandler doesn't have gold, neither does Pori. I don't know why Pori is pound for pound. I really don't. If I was a champion and I had a belt, with all due respect to Poirier, there's no way you can put guys that have been knocked out and submitted and all that on the pound for pound list. But anyways, that's you guys, that's you fans, that's you people, but whatever. Now, Cejudo clarified his comments about Poirier by tweeting, didn't mean any disrespect to Dustin Poirier, but he's ahead of two champions. I had the chance to train with Figgy and Yuri. The voters for these rankings suck, not Poirier. We should rank all these crotch sniffer analysts and see how they like it. Alex Pereira has posted yet another clip of intense sparring footage as he prepares for the upcoming title fight against Israel Adesanya, which is scheduled for UFC 281 on November 12th. Check out the footage. Here are the top three funniest memes we found over the internet. Third place was found on Facebook and was posted by a user named UFC Kink. Second place was found over Twitter and was posted by a user named Paulo Costa. And our top pick was also found over Facebook and was posted by a user named Fight Sport Focus. Every day, we search the internet for the funniest MMA memes and post them to our fan page on Facebook called MMAMemes.com. If you want your meme to be included in our next video, just send it to us in private message on Facebook. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel to keep up with the latest MMA news.